Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Today I'm going to do something I've probably done once before, but I haven't done it this way. I'm going to cook a whole chicken using the sous vide. We're going to finish it up on the Kamado Joe with the rotisserie, but we're going to measure the temp the whole time with my new meat stick Wi-Fi. Alright, I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from Fire and water. Alright all, I think I've done this once before on my channel. Uh, and if you're ever going to attempt to do a whole chicken like this, um, sous vide, one of the things you do got to remember is you need to have some liquid in the uh, bag with it to get into the cavity. Because, you know, a whole chicken, or turkey for that matter, it's got that big cavity in there, and you don't want that air pocket, um, you know, in there with no no liquid in it to keep the temperature, because um, it's going to be really hard for it to hold the temperature if there's no liquid in it. So you do have to put some stock in there. Um, I put about a cup and a half, two cups of stock in here, so I am going to use that to. Uh, but it makes the temperature uh, the exact same as the water in the uh, container. So that's what you need to do. You need to have some stock in here. So I always suggest using a vacuum sealer that will allow you to uh, vacuum seal liquid. So it has to have either a pulse function or a chamber sealer or something like that. So I've got that all sealed up. I've got it seasoned up with some fresh jack spices. But what I'm going to do now, I've got my meat stick pro or my meat stick Wi-Fi in there already. It's already monitoring it. So what I'm going to do, I got my sous vide already up. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the sous vide and we're going to let this cook for about four hours or so. We're going to watch the uh, meat stick the whole time to make sure that it's in the right uh, temperature. All right, I'll be back. Hey, I got the uh, chicken in the water. So I just wanted to show you here a lot of times with these thicker bags and when there's uh, liquid involved, you might not get a really good seal. So I always recommend you try to seal it as best you can. But if you don't need to, try not to get the uh, top seal here in the water. Um, I've got it hanging out the side. I know my bottom seal was sealed pretty good, so I'm not worried about that one because I got that one, I sealed that when it was dry and there was nothing in it. But I went ahead and just made sure the top part was kind of out of the uh, container, outside the water. But my chicken is under the water got the rack on top of it keeping it under there so just a hint tip so that you don't end up with a bunch of water from your uh, container in your bag wrecking your meat so I do got the uh, meat stick in the in the chicken we're gonna monitor that like I said I'm gonna keep this in the bath for at least four hours but I'm also gonna make sure I can monitor the chicken with the meat stick to make sure the temperature is where I want it to be and I've got it at 148 degrees today so that's what I want it to be. I want it to be at 148, deep into the breast. So as soon as it hits that, we're gonna throw it on the rotisserie. All right guys, I'll be back. All right guys, look at this chart right here. And like last time, it's only one degree off from what the ambient temperature of the sous vide uh, circulator is showing in the water. So I'm okay with that. But as you can see, it uh, does take a while for our internal temperature of the chicken to move up. This is after 20 minutes. Now this is after over three hours and 10 minutes. It's still at 140 degrees. So uh, I think I took it off at 144. It still wasn't at the 148 at over four hours. So check it out guys. It does take a long time for that needle to move. All right all, it's been over four hours and um, at 148 and this chicken, believe it or not, is still not at 148 in the breast it's uh, just past 140 I believe and uh, so uh, I don't I'm running out of time I need to get this ready for dinner so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get let this finish on the uh, jotisserie on the grill I got my fire going got my rotisserie in so I'm gonna let this finish getting the temp on the grill the good thing about having the meat stick in there is now I get to actually take my chicken from the uh, sous vide bath, leave the meat stick in there, and put it right on the uh, rotisserie, 
and let it uh, continue to cook. Get some uh, color to the skin. Continue to cook the internal temp until it gets right to the 148 that I want anyway. So I'm not going to lose anything. I'm going to get this out of the bag, get it on here, get it a little bit more seasoning, put it on the rotisserie. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got it on my spit. I'm just going to put a little bit more of the Fresh Jack's citrus pepper on both the front and the back. Not a ton. And a little bit of the rosemary lemon seasoned salt from Fresh Jack's as well. Flip it over. Do the same thing on the breast side. Make sure I get the legs. It's a little windy today. So I'm going to blow some of my seasonings away. It's all right. Fresh Jack's seasonings. All right, that's it. I'm going to get it on the jotisserie, and I'll see you back in a, probably an hour or so. I'll be back. Check it out guys. Check out the, the uh, chart here uh, right at four hours. You can tell where I put it on the uh, jotisserie to finish it up and it's going to hit our our target temperature on the jotisserie while it's cooking. And I did let it go for a couple more minutes uh, to get over that. So I'll be back. Well guys, take a look at that. It's just past the 148 that we were searching for on the uh, sous vide. So I'm gonna actually going to let it sit on here a couple more minutes just to crispen that skin up a little more. Get a little bit more of that wood smoke to it. But as you can tell, it looks gorgeous. The meat stick and the jotisserie did its job. I'll tell you what, um, if you're looking at the meat stick, you definitely want to... Uh, consider upgrading to the Wi-Fi because I've had no issues with this on any of my barbecue grills and the plastic sous vide container so alright I'm gonna get this thing done I'll be back well, alright guys take a look at that give you a little better look there nice crispy skin on the breast use the rosemary lemon and citrus pepper from Fresh Jacks got my meat stick in there Matter of fact, let me go ahead and take the meat stick out. Just reading, as you can tell, it's like right over 152 right now. So, which is good for me. Put it right there because we do have to wash this thing after. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece right here from the breast. So, you can just see how juicy this is. I always like to take my first cut from like right around here because this is usually always the driest part of the chicken you can tell it's pretty moist coming out of there skin is nice color to it mm -mm -mm. no pink we're doing great there you have it guys I like using the meat stick works great gives me some good information when I'm sous vide especially when I'm doing something like this where it's a really big piece of meat and you really need to understand how the uh, temperature how long it takes for the temperature to get into the uh, deep inside the meat so highly recommend it make sure you check out the Wi-Fi version because you can read this thing anywhere I haven't had any issues with it since I've had it so check it out guys check out fresh jacks check out the fire and water cooking podcast facebook group instagram and also keep following the fire and water cooking youtube channel i'll see you again on the next one